Long had the siblings traveled across Anka or throughout the Tanakhskrun Mountains in search of an ancient talisman. And we are finally here. The ancient complex in sight. There are, however, rumors of guardians waiting within. The siblings didn't make this journey alone. No, they had Savas, the trusty pony, and Gorilla, their current prisoner. It's time to move in. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to The Rule of Two. And we are straight into it to start today's episode off. We are bare minutes after the last episode ended in terms of what's happened to these two. They didn't have that much further to go to actually make it to this place. We know that there are enemies here, supposed ancient machines guarding this space. How dangerous is it going to be? Let's find that out together. There's no one here. There is no one here. But the talisman, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, maybe they're elsewhere, or maybe they will arrive upon us uh, taking the talisman. Kidden, you're the first one through the door. Extract the relic. Oh boy. Oh ho, 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 boy. And here we go. Security threat activated in 2.8 days. Well, that's totally doable. <laughs> and we've got it. We've got the talisman. An object with ideologous significance. Ideologous. I've never heard it spoken of like that before. But yep, it is a relic of the Sith. Hot damn. We got it. And you know what? This reliquary that's here as well. We're going to go and uh, we're going to take that apart because... Um, yeah, why not? Why not? We're here. Let's do it. Um, you know what? We're actually going to get uh, Jin to do that for us. Yes, you, you got a very nice Vibra Sword, Jin. Very, very nice. Uh, we can relax for a moment or two before we get out of here. 2.8 days. Yeah, not a problem. Okay, there we go. We got the stuff. There's some extra agave that we've got from this. Let's get back home. And you know what? It's free stuff, and it's not going to slow us down that much. We're going to take some of these urns here as well. And just like that, the quest is complete. We have the talisman. Now we're going to have to make somewhere to keep that back at home. And they have arrived back home, both Kin and Jin. Welcome back, team. Welcome back. You've done a fantastic job. And we have a reliquary, which is under construction at the moment, where we are going to be able to display this fantastic relic of ours. And our research has finished. Microelectronics is done. We're now able to upgrade to the high-tech research bench and chuck in a comms console. And our reliquary is complete. So we can get the Mer Talisman out of here and put on display. There we go, Jin where it's meant to be, just like so. Zale, keep a close eye on it, please. And some extra good news here. We have a new panther. Umbara gave birth to little Togen, named after Togen the Bard. Welcome, young one. I'm very happy to say that both Jin and Kin's bedrooms have been completed. Uh, interestingly enough, their thrones are on the opposite side, so I might change those around. So if we just go reassign Jin, and then this one here, specifically, we will give to Ken. Then it kind of matches up all right. Yeah, that's uh, looking good. So I haven't really shown it closely, but they have their own private bathrooms here. They have their little forced meditation spots here. And we have yet, again, <laughs> more ostrich revenge. Lagrange is certainly getting better, though. The Gauss rifle does have its inaccuracies, but... As they get closer, he's pretty good at picking them off. All right, we've got a hyena here who's looking to cause a little bit of trouble. We don't want that. It's going for Togen. So as soon as it's kind of gotten a little bit further away, Lagrange, let's take some shots. Oh, wow. One shot to the brain. Dude, well done. <laughs> well, you wouldn't really know it, but the structure is completely gone now. Um, the only thing that's left is this one ancient crypto sleep casket. I've kept it in the event that someone is injured to the point where maybe freezing them might be a good idea. I, yeah, it, I think it still works. So if we need to, we can chuck people in this, which I don't want to make any predictions, but it could 
helped save a life. Next up for us in research is going to be the multi-analyzer. That's going to take a fair bit to get to it, but that's going to allow us to get to fabrication and then eventually get to making the components that we need for our lightsabers. I have to admit, I really do like the challenge of building up towards building lightsabers rather than having them just starting off because uh, it's going to seem like quite the achievement when we eventually get there. We have our first trade ship passing by, an exotic goods trader. They could have some very interesting stuff for us, so we're going to go and have a bit of a chat with them. We've got our orbital trade beacon down here, so it is covering pretty much all of our stuff. Uh, not our clothes, but that's okay for now. While they do have some very interesting stuff, unfortunately no lightsaber components or actual lightsaber hilts or anything like that. They do have another Vibro cell. It is very expensive, however. I think what we are going to do for now is we're going to sell off these animal pulses that we've got just kicking about, some Yeo and some Bantha horns that we have as well. So we're going to get some silver out of it at the very least. Well, I can happily say that we have completed our BB-8 and I'll be honest, it was a completely unintentional uh, fact that this now looks like a droid. Uh, you know, it was just so that we can enclose our farming area as well, but I'm happy with how it is set up at this stage. Obviously, this will be our main defense point. We're gonna be putting in a few doors along here, sturdy doors at that. But uh, yeah, we finally have it done. Ship landed, frigate, okay. Emergency Nullification Mech Hive Whiskey, that's a mouthful, sent a new ship to land on the planet. A small ship often used for ground recon operations. It has minimal defenses. When destroyed, mechanoid presence on the surface will be lowered. If it's left operational, it will contribute to the size of mechanoid attack parties. Okay, so... Whoa, really? <laughs> really? Man, that is a, that's a journey and a half. Um, I think we're going to need to start getting towards um, pods to be able to blast ourselves across the planet. But that is a soon goal. It is going to make mechanoid raids harder in the future. We're going to have to keep that in mind. Yikes. Well, it might be a little bit too much, but now we have uh, Michael here, who was previously Gorilla under our control working for us as a servant. So Michael Gibson, thank you for your service as a patron. Now you're gonna be a hell of a chef for us. And there is a quest opportunity. The meeting. Hmm, I see. Wants to talk to us. It could be a great opportunity to improve relations and receive gifts. Peace talks. No, we're okay. We don't need peace. Well, Fox has taken on quite an interesting look with this green hyperweave veil that he's decided to start wearing. Very, very interesting look there, Fox. And uh, over here, we are currently working on a Vibrax. Lagrange hasn't been able to work on it too much, but I'm hoping to be able to get that for Fox. Let's try get that into his very capable hands. So a little bit of a power problem overnight, but there's nothing that we can't fix as we have our chem fuel generator here to help out. Oh no, that's... That's out as well. This is this is a this is a solar flare. <laughs> now there's something that we've had for a very very long time here. This granlin seed, which we have not planted yet. I'm thinking we could plant it out here in the middle of our field. It is going to knock back a little bit of our crop though, so that's the only thing we have to consider. You know what? I'm going to say we're, we're going to give it a try. I think we can still keep things growing around there, but um, yeah, we're finally going to get that planted. And there it is. The Granlin tree. So we need to connect this tree with someone. I've been looking at Connor's stats here and other than this, he's actually really not that useful. And you know what? Sacrifice the meek is expected. So I'm thinking what we're going to end up doing here is sacrificing Connor and whether or not we bring any of them on to join the colony. I'm not sure just yet, but Connor, we've been trying to get your certainty down, my friend, but I think it's time for the sacrifice. It is now. We shall begin the sacrifice of the meek, just as Connor was about to convert as well. So it's going to be Lagrange that's doing this. It looks like it's going to be a fantastic time. Well, as, as good as it can be. Let's go ahead and start the sacrifice. Hopefully this helps bring Fox closer to the Sith. I mean, we've got our relic here and everything. I think we got a good chance. Lagrange. Oh, you're bringing Connor. All right. Togan's here. 
I wonder if uh, <laughs> Crate Dragon Zale's gonna come down. Uh, maybe not in time. The blood is starting to spill, and here we go. Good. Satisfying. Very satisfying. Wonderful. Just like that. Um, oh, and Fox gained a shoot frenzy. Okay, would like to go on a hunt. Having a look at Fox here. Yeah, you're more passionate about melee, my friend. But you know, if you really want to go on a hunt, more power to you. And that has got you down to 41%. Man, slowly but surely, we are getting there. I didn't actually realize, but you can force the conversion rituals, but you get a big negative based upon like how long it's been. Yeah, so an only a 43% chance here. We don't want to risk that. We're just going to have to uh, be patient for the next five days. So the Granlin tree has been planted. We need to connect it with someone. Connecting it with Jin. She doesn't really have a passion for plants. We could do kin. Lagrange is psychically, psychically death. So yeah, that's, uh, that's not going to happen. Kin. Connect with this tree. Out you go. And that doesn't take long at all. Oh, yep, and it grows where it can in and amongst that, which, yeah, kind of like that. And with that, we can choose a cast of Dryad that will get created by this tree. Claws are good for defense. Carriers just help with hauling. Woodmakers make wood. Right now, honestly, I think just having a carrier could help us out a fair amount, uh, especially when it comes to harvesting and all the rest. We might look at Berry Maker if we're really struggling for food, but we are doing okay in that department at the moment. Yet another bit of a world update here. The Rakai Confederation took over the old rebel base that was originally held by the Mamabi Coalition. They still have two locations at this stage, so they're doing pretty well in terms of factions on this planet. Of course, the Fallen Empire up there with their two as well. And over here, oh, that's the frigate, of course. Yeah, I can't forget about that. Ken's out here in the morning, pruning the tree, doing what he needs to do. Nice. I think we should have those dryads within a few days. A fair bit of time has passed here. A structure has been complete down here. Somewhere we are going to be able to do some duels, some proofs of power. However, that's not what I've called you back here for, no. Emergency Nullification Mech Hive Whiskey is raiding us. So that's the group that landed just recently. And so, oh, well, it's a pikeman and a knight. It's your birthday today. Well, Happy birthday, congratulations to the two of you. And welcome, you bastards. So the pikemen, obviously we want to try and get in on that as fast as possible. The knight, if we can disable that shield, that'll be fantastic. So we need to try and grab, ah, that right there. Let's get out towards the front. Okay, all right, everybody ready. Everybody steady. Lagrange, let's get you back here. You do actually have your animals that you can release, which I think will be fantastic. Ken, we really need you to get out here as well, my friend. I don't know what you've been up to. But Fox, as soon as our friend rounds the corner, we need to get ready to just hit them. Hit them right away. Okay, here we go. Let's get that stun off. Let's get that stun off. And you know what? Oh, you do actually have a ranged weapon. I think they might just be melee. I haven't fought them before. You learn something new every time, don't you? Let's go ahead and choke this thing if we can. Or oh, headshot. That's not great. That's not great. Uh, there we go. That's the proper stun. That's what we want. All right, we're going to send Ken in here. Uh, we're going to actually take you off fire at will, my friend. You are just going to chill for now. Lagrange, please, if you'd be so kind. Any moment now, we're going to get in here. It's adapted, I think, to the stun. There we go both down. Okay, just the pikemen now at this stage. Lagrange, I'm actually going to get you to pull back over here just for now. If we do need the rifle, we'll uh, we'll use that. But for now, just let's just hang back. Jin, I wonder, I wonder if we can actually get a drain off on this thing. That would be super great. Okay, here we go. So first of all, Ken, we're going to get you to pop out around the corner slightly. We're going to force choke it, and then we are going to do a master force drain. If there is energy that we can get, oh boy, Michael, you are lucky. And yep, Jen totally can. That is so good. Both of you rushing in, we might get a little bit 
of electrocution ourselves. Nope, totally fine. Problem dealt with. Yeah. Oh, Lagrange lost his ear. Brother, brother, I am sorry. <laughs> Go and rest up. And actually, you know what? We do need to have a proper hospital. It's about time that we had that constructed. So we're going to have a look at making that down here. So we don't have the ability to do sterile tiles just yet because of research, but we can do these steel tiles, which should work out pretty well when it comes to taking care of our folks. The thing is, it does actually take a lot of steel. So we probably want to plan this to be just around the beds. So we could just do something like this on either side. It's still a fair amount of steel, but I think we can work with that. So I didn't actually realize, but we can get a conversion ritual off right now. And it's probably worth us doing. Fox is not feeling super happy at the moment. You know, Fox's ideology doesn't really fit in that well. So the sooner we can get that conversion done, the better, even though our chances could be better. In another four days time, we are going to be able to do the leader conversion. We just got to hope that this one turns out okay. And there we go. Effective conversion ritual down to 21. Fox, so close, so close. Buddy, Blue Stork has contacted us, wants us to signal some mechanoids towards Tulak. So if he does, mechanoids will activate a site nearby to harass us, a smoke spewing machine. Okay, and there's two mechanoids there. So, if we do it, we could get a bionic eye, which is great because I believe Jin does need one. The recon armor is really nice, the mechanoid components are great too, but honestly, for the bionic eye, I think I'd like to go for that. Yeah, and it's experience at the same time, so sure, we'll go for it. So the air will be smoking over. Let's hit the road as fast as we can. Okay, it is over the mountains. It's somewhere that we've actually been before. We can make that trip. And you know what? There is actually an ancient complex along the way, so we might be able to go to that too. Pods arrive. Oh, the Bionic Eye is already here. I think we'll do that surgery when we get back. As much as I would like to head out right now, our food situation still isn't 100%. We have a harvest on the way, so we might just wait. And I know the smoke spewer isn't going to make that super great, but we can fish in the meantime. Vicaria, thank you. And with that being the case, we might be able to do this operation on your right eye. Hmm, let's see. Install bionic right eye. Requires two medicine and one bionic eye. No medical beds available yet, but what we can do is take a bed and put it on one of these uh, tiles for the time being to, to give us a really good chance of it being sterile. All right, so Jin is jumping into position there. Now, let's just have a quick look at this. Who is our best surgeon? Honestly, I think it might be Mordecai. Mordecai at seven, Lagrange has six. So, do we want Lagrange to do this or Mordecai? Mordecai, hmm, hmm. Lagrange, brother, we're gonna trust you in this. Um, not assigned to operating. Yeah, you aren't, are you? Yeah, surgeon. You know what? We're gonna put that on four. I want you to give this a go. Operate on Jin. Oh boy. So, we got our two medicine. We got the eye. Jin. Here we go. And there it is. I think it worked. That looks like it was successful. Health. Right bionic eye. And I didn't actually realize that Jin would have that eye. Wow, that's, uh, that's neat. Good stuff. Well, we haven't quite left on our journey just yet, but a Jawa Sandcrawler is approaching yet again. Fun. Always fun. Look at this damn thing. And Outlander Pilgrims have arrived to venerate the Mer Talisman. Okay, yeah, you guys are worshippers of the Sith. Neat. Open Link's quest. I guess that's probably something to do with the talisman itself. Well, come and, come and worship it. I don't know whether or not we can capture any of you, but it's worth us having a look at some of them, you know, just to see. Unhygienic, that's, that's not great. A vengeful jogger who's good with animals and is a fast learner. Douglas Stumpy, you, you sound potentially useful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they've got chem fuel and components and all the rest to trade. Yet again, we're not in need of any of it right now. All of our supplies are actually pretty good. 
The amount of gold we have is pretty good. I wouldn't mind maybe getting closer to 100. So maybe we will do a little bit of trading here. It's going to cost us a fair amount. So I'm thinking maybe we trade up some of our chem fuel, which that I'm, I'm happy with. We're going to use some silver. That's fine. A and yet again, the sand crawler is crawling through our base currently. This is fine. Well, the Outlanders are finished visiting the Talisman already. They are leaving. Farewell, travelers, for now. Oh, and we're already on to another. The Gauntlet of Kresh, the Younger. Okay. Hmm. We've learned that the relic is nearby. Okay. Okay. Watch for opportunities. We will gather what information we can. We'll have those ears out listening. Well, well, well. The Royal Tribute Collector is here. And as you can see, our little hospital down here is... Uh, well, it's pretty much done. We do have these operating tables. They take a few components to be able to make, so not every single bed is going to be one, but for the most part, I think they are going to be helpful because, well, ideally, we'll go to those beds before we go to any of the others. And as for our friends here, we'll see what we can do to get some extra honor. Having a look at Kin, he has seven honor. One more will take him up to knight. Jin, three. Acolyte, so there's a bit more that Jen is going to need before she levels up there. Ken, let's see if we can uh, get you to go over the edge there. We are going to have to look at trading someone though. Okay, and we can see that they are worth different amounts here. So, Michael, Berto, and Vicara are worth something. Oh, that's tough. That is tough because they are all really quite useful. Berto's actually quite decent when it comes to crafting. And then Vicaria is really good at shooting, but not much else. I am tempted to get Vicaria on our side. Maybe that's what we do. So in this instance, Berto, I am sorry. You're going to be walking away with the Empire on this one. There we go. And now Kin can become a knight. So we need columns now. Columns in this room. Well, that's definitely something we can do. Well, we've got our two columns in. Is that going to be enough? Let's have a look. Knight ceremony, new silent level. Let's go and accept it. They're arriving out to the side here. That sounds quite hilarious when it's sped up there. Um, you're injured. Hmm. How'd you get injured? Oh. I wonder if you've been here on a previous uh, outing. Quite possibly, quite possibly. Well, get out the rain, get nice and comfortable, and we'll be up in the throne room in just a moment. Okay, it is time. 66% quality. Okay, okay, all right. Well, let's get everyone participating. In we go. Everyone paying very close attention to what's going on as Kin becomes a knight. And there we are knight. What is that going to do for you, my friend? Well, first of all, let's have a look. Beckon. Psychically command the target to approach the caster. Now, really good if we can do that from quite a distance away. What is the range like on that, I wonder? Okay, pretty decent. Pretty decent. So we could call someone to us away from a group, take them out that way. Hmm, not bad. So now we need to have two braces, two columns, and a harp. We need a harp now. And that is something that we are actually going to have to research. Okay. We will do it. I mean, we do have a harp's accord, but yeah, I guess we'll see if he's happy. Undignified throne room. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Could be missing the things that he actually needs. But I also just noticed venerated crate dragon. Oh, because we venerate them. Of course. The crate dragon is a venerated animal of the Sith, at least in the ideology that I've built in this. Uh... Wow, that's great. Super fortuitous that one would just come along then. Hmm, I like that. And with that, I think we can ready ourselves to head out and take care of the smokestack. So they are going to be gathering up what they can and moving on. We have an Aurora as we are setting off to leave today. And okay breaking someone out. We'll have a look at that in just one moment. I was going to draw your attention down to here. We've got a whole heap of potatoes getting planted just to alleviate our food situation. We've had many mouths to feed here. We have one less to feed now at this stage. 
And before long, I think Vicaria, you're probably going to be going back into here so that we might actually stand a chance at recruiting you as a colonist. But yes, let's have a look at this. Ooh, a cave builder. This is a chance for us to get yet another Wookiee and maybe a, a partner for Fox. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps, she's being held at a camp under armed guards. I see. Being held by the Asvexa Covenant. I reckon we could do it. Eleven Gans. Ooh, that's a bit of a challenge for Jin and Kin, but I'm intrigued. It is nearby to a degree. I reckon we could probably do that, but we'd really want to be prepared for that. Maybe even bring some extras. Expires in 22 days, so we have time to think about it. And we are here at the smokestack, so let's look at moving up. We've got one sleeping foe all the way over here, and yet another. A Lancer and a Scyther. Ah, oh, fast asleep, eh? Fast asleep. We're gonna go ahead and melee attack you. You know what, Ken? Let's start off by choking this thing. Stun it. As, uh, well, the other one has woken up now, so let's make this quick if we can. Or Jin, just get ready to do a choke as that one rounds the corner. Stun that one too. Okay, keep it there for a little bit longer. Fantastic. We start moving in. Let's take this one out. Ah, so good. Both of them down, just like that. We'll claim the doors. We're going to, we're going to rush on inside for the order of Umbra, of course. Umbara, rather. And in here, that's the big old smokestack. So we're just going to melee attack this thing to death. Done. And we got some stuff out of that as well. Let's make sure we bring back those bodies. Time to get a move on. Now we could go up towards here first. It's not that long. We've got the food to do it. Yeah, let's move. Actually, they're gonna be way too heavy to take. So we're gonna have to leave them. And you know what? That's fine. We're getting mechanoid components out of this. I'm happy with that. Damn, they made it there really quickly. We've actually got some lions on this map and kangaroos and the complex. Okay, let's start moving down. Hope that they don't try and eat our horse. Service, stay safe. All right, Jin, what are we looking at here? Okay, okay, we've got some spellopedes in here. That's totally doable. A security crate. I feel like an alarm will probably go off here. So maybe we just try and start attacking some of them, huh? Yeah, let's just go and attack them while they're asleep. Um, I was hoping we'd I'd Ideally take them out in one like that. We can. We're just gonna get a little hurt in the process. That's fine. Ken. Actually, you know what, Ken? Let's go ahead do a force drain if we can on this one here. It's still alive. Yep, that helps. It's not enough to give you full health back. Death in 20 hours. A bite to the neck, eh? Well, I guess we could wait. Nah, let's just go ahead. Finish these off. Or just, you know, straight up attack them to death. And I was going to say, maybe get some treatment before you go ahead. We're going to go and uh, tend without medicine. Yeah, we got more in here as well. What is that? Giant spider hatchling. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now let's pop on over here for now. Let's stay maybe over here for now. We'll have a look at opening this up. Insects have woken up. They've woken up. Should have expected that was going to happen. Now, I wonder how many others there are here. Yeah, I I wonder. Let's kind of go to either side here. Ideally, we'll get a force lightning on you if we can. So maybe, let's see. Try and do a choke. Ken, back off. Oh, literally no need. Wow. Impressive. Very impressive. Okay, they're both down. We like to see that. Are the others just asleep or are they... No, they're, they're asleep. I thought they might be dead. Okay, we do have another thing in there. We will check that out, but we'll just have a look in this room. Okay, this is fine. Unstable node. Ancient equipment blocks. Yeah, useless. So nothing that we actually want in there. We don't want to set off the node. So let's check out the other room. Up here. Okay, all right. So we're, we're definitely going to have a fire in here. So we probably want to chip through the walls. Uh... But for this lot, we can probably just blast one of them with lightning to take them out. So, Ken, let's see. Can we actually see them all right from there? Not really, but we can get one of them. We'll just go ahead and straight up murder that one there. Or not straight up murder. All right. 
we'll start to make your way back through. It's going to take a little bit with that door. That's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's taken a little bit more of a beating than I would like. Not enough time to recharge. Oh, there we go. Force drain, my friend. Ah, no need. No need. Melee level 15. Who was that on? Ah, it's on Kin. We still need a proof of power. So, Jin, you must be also at 15. Damn, they aren't that far behind each other. However, Kin has taken a little bit more damage than I would like. Uh, so let's give you some proper treatment because we do have medicine for that. And I know it's on the floor. It's not going to be the best treatment we could possibly get, but it's going to be better than just letting it bleed out, sir. So. There we go. As for Jin, it is literally just a bruise, so we can get Kin back up to take care of her. Battle animals wander in. Okay. I don't... They're, they're tamed right away. We got three wolves, just like that. I guess it's that Sith power. Okay, well, I'll get them named and uh, we're gonna see if we can keep these things fed. As for our troop back here, well, we need to be ready to open this and then just grab it and get out. Okay, we got out, easy as. So, oh, Ken, let's see. Moving down here, we're gonna do effectively the same thing. Deconstructing that wall, open the crate. Medicine, glitter world medicine. Okay, let's grab it. And the components down here, we'll grab those too. So, back at home, we've got our wolves renamed. We have Rabbit Ghoul, Iron Hand, and Paul P. Congratulations, you are a pack of wolves who I hope we are gonna be able to keep alive because battle animals could be very, very cool. I'm really hoping Zale's gonna come through for us. And Legion, that is where we are going to be leaving things for today's episode. The Order of Umbara, the Temple of Tulak is looking better than ever. We have our first relic and we have word of yet another out there. Every day we get closer to being able to construct the lightsabers that will allow us to dominate this planet. Fox has nearly joined the Sith and it looks like we might be able to save another Wookiee, one that we hope to bring to the dark side. But that is all in the future. For now, I'd like to thank you for joining me for today's episode if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, may the Force be with you.